hey guys how are you thanks so, so much for coming back to watch this video for those who are new here my good names are esther jesus or esther jacob <laughs> and yes welcome to the family and kindly consider subscribing we have not this is a kind of content we have here we have hair tutorials family entrepreneurship yes but of late i'll be doing hair tutorials because that's what i'll be doing in the way in this video i'll be showing you i was able to do these large box braids yes it's not hard it's very easy it took me one and a half hours to do them but with parting it was not easy so it took me another hour to do parting because it's the hardest part as i'm practicing to do my hair because i did start long time ago i just started that that's the hardest part and yeah the time we get better so I hope you watch this video till the end. It's not a long one. Kindly like it if you like it, if you love it. And subscribe, please, to support us. Yeah? So, let's get right into the video and enjoy watching. So, guys, my hair was clean and straightened. Or did this stretched out? That is, I used it this time around, and honestly, it was not funny. I didn't like it, but anyway. So, I'm going to be using my parting comb, and I'm going to be using the normal braid to be doing these large box braids. And also, I'm going to be using my wax, which is also an edge control. This it's called Siri. So, I'm going to start by parting the front part from ear to ear yes then the other parts and also do individual parting of the individual braid honestly parting my hair is one of the hardest thing i never thought it's hard i thought it was very easy to part my own hair but honestly the experience is very different <laughs> you're going to see the parts are not straight the braids individual braids are not even equal but anyway we learn as we go don't limit yourself keep learning and be willing yeah be willing to learn and you're going to get better so i'm going to be using the rubber bands to make the notes but the ones i'm just putting there are just going to be holding the parties but then at the end of it all honestly all these parties were disorganized because my hair is so stretched out yeah So as I've mentioned, I'm going to be using rubber bars in this method. So what I'm doing, I'm separating a parting as I've said, and putting the braid in between the two partings. Then I take my rubber band. Is it a rubber band or a stick band? I don't know the difference. <laughs> the rubber band there. Yeah. And just tie it to just holding the braid in between. Then I'm going to tuck in my hair. Yes, that way to make sure that it holds in the braid so well, but not so tight again that you can have a headache. Then make sure that the braid is equal on both sides so that you can have one longer side than the other. And it will be a headache, especially when you are braiding at the end. Yeah. Then after that, take a quarter from each side. Remember when you're braiding, you have to have three. Yes, three uh, are these strands. <laughs> yeah, so for the third one, you get it from the two braids that you have here. So get a quarter from each side, and that's what you are going to use to form the third strand. And then that's what I'm using to at least try to hide my natural hair. But honestly, my hair is all over. But I'm trying to manage it. Yeah, we have to get through it. <laughs> So the braiding pattern depends on you, whether you want to braid under or not under, <laughs> that's what I would say. Personally, I'm braiding under. I saw it's a cute pattern that I'm doing and that's all I'll do. 
for the rest of the parties to have my box braid they are going to be large but honestly they're not going to be equal let me not lie <laughs> and you are going to see they're not going to be equal even in size even the parties are different yeah but you said to keep learning yeah so after you braid up to the end you can tie a knot or make sure you braid till the the last last part yes for me i'm tying a knot because i don't want it to unravel So I went ahead to do all the other parties. I repeated the same process, yes, where you separate the hair, put the hair in between, use a rubber band to just hold it there, then braid. That's all. Someone would ask me why I was not using the wax. I honestly tried to to smoothen my edges using the wax, but honestly, it was not working. And you don't have to force things. Then they start. You start regretting. <laughs> yes, so hold it together with the rubber bud. Yeah. I don't know why the rubber bud keeps on disappointing me. The rubber bud that did break when I was doing this style. Oh, there are so many. But honestly, you are going to know how to deal with that. Yeah. So make sure the hair is equal on both sides. Then take a quarter from each side to form the that strand. Try to hide your natural hair. As for me, that's what I was trying to do, honestly. And then you braid. And you have the best. Yeah. Remember you said the pattern depends on you. You can even not you can you can even break the opposite of under that is upper. Hmm? <laughs> and you still have a good one, yeah. But for me I'm braiding under till some point then I turn it and just braid the other way because it's easier. And it's going to save more time. Mm 
And just like that, we have our brides that we are smart, yeah? Yes, I guess I'm doing better. I'm learning. I'm a good student, yeah? <laughs> so after that, I had to dip them in hot water to just seal the ends, yeah? Be very careful because the water is hot. You have to use boiled water. And that's what you have. And I guess I love them so much. Yes. And so after that, I went ahead to get ready. I'm stepping out in a bit. Try to do my makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm also learning about it. And this is what you have. You can see. And by the way, this is the second day. This is the second day I'm stepping out. You can see the some of the hair is, do I say it's standing or it's up? Yeah. But again, I still look nice. Yes. I look and I love them so much. So guys, try this style out. It's time we, we start doing our own hair at home. Yes. If I'm doing it, you can also do it. We learn as we go. So if you have watched this point, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks so much for supporting. Remember to subscribe if you are not. Like, you can also share with someone. Until our next video, what do we say? It's we are out. Cheers.